editing attribute definitions. We can actually edit the attribute definition using the Batman command. Uh, and it'll display our attributes in the block and we can then uh, change things like the attribute tag or the prompt or the default value type things. And to find this, um, we're going to go up to manage attributes in the block definition panel. When we go to the, the, uh, the Batman and manage attributes, it'll go down and we will select which block we want. We can just pick from the list. If we're not sure, we can go and pick on the particular block if we don't know the name. It will list our tag, our prompt, our default, and our modes, whether it's locked, uh, etc. And uh, so one of the things we can do here is if we're looking at our tags here, and let me stretch this out a little bit. And one of the things I can do is I can say, well, I want to change things around a little bit. I want to put the, the maintenance up near the inspection date. So I can highlight the maintenance and I can say move up. And I can change the order of how the, the attribute prompts are displayed to the user. Also, I come in here and I can make some changes like um, this one here is I just abbreviated it. Maybe I want to spell that out. So I can come in here now and I can make that change. So I'm going to go and hit edit. And now at this point I can come in here and change the prompt uh, and I can say date of the last maintenance, right? Ooh. type thing and I can say OK. Um, and maybe the manufacturer. I wanted to spell the manufacturer and notice I had a dash not an underscore. So I can go and hit edit and I come over here and I can make my changes and I can come in here and spell manufacturer out perhaps. Um, And the prompt could be uh, um, let's get this right here. Let's go. Who is the okay? And I can say okay. And so we can change a lot of things about this. Um, I can go up to the horsepower and I can edit and I can go to the text option. In the text option I can come in here and say you know I need to make that text a little bigger. I'm going to make it a quarter inch tall and uh, I'm going to leave the, the types of things here and then the properties you know I could change properties etc as well. Um, and you know I can make any changes I want so I'm actually gonna say you know what let's even make it bigger let's make it nice and bold for everybody to see and it's okay you know so much it got bigger right away and so I'm gonna say okay and at this point I found it in nine places and I'm updating it and I can hit apply and apply means I made the changes but I kept the dialog box there and open. If I go over to my settings, settings will display the things that uh, allows me to change in my Batman command. And normally we're always going to have prompt, um, our tag and our prompt type things in, but you can change more things if you want. Um, so you can display that in the list. So in this case I have a small list here because it's kind of hard to manage, you know. We got so much data here, so we don't, maybe only want to see certain things in our list. Uh, so I only have a few of the things that we're able to change show up in this major list in the dialog box. But we can still get to it by going to those other tabs. 
I also want to emphasize duplicate tabs. So if I have this, or tags, if I have the same tag, for example, if I just use horsepower, I like to use motor horsepower, but if I had two blocks, both of them saying horsepower, I want to emphasize the duplicate tags. Because then when we go to extract the data, uh, we don't get mismatching of the data. Uh, we want to just get the motor horsepower, not the horsepower of some other engine that's they'll confuse things. And we want to apply the changes to existing references. So in our drawing, when we have these horsepower changes, we make those changes uh, affect the, the items in the drawing. And when we're done, we say OK. And that's how we edit attribute definitions.